Welcome back troglodytes to Would You Rock or Not. Today we're looking at an interesting limited edition Les Paul from 2012. This one is offered for sale in Japan by a shop called TC Gaki. The model is called the Gibson Custom Shop 2012 Kazuyoshi Saito Les Paul Aged Antique Gold TC. Now that's a really long title for this guitar. And for us American viewers, we probably don't even know who Kazuyoshi Saito is. However, if you look him up online, he appears to be a singer-songwriter in Japan. Here is a photo of him. This guitar is a beautiful blend of an ES-295, a Les Paul Jr., and a 50s gold top. It borrows the 295 aspect due to the flower pick guard, and it's influenced by the Les Paul Jr. for the single bridge pickup and the wrap tail piece with a master volume and master tone. And the rest of the guitar is pretty much a 54 gold top. If these types of specs weren't enough for you, this guitar was aged as well to look just like a 50s Les Paul. You can see there's quite a sizable ding right here on the guitar, as well as tons of finish checking and light nicks and dings. It appears to have your standard maple top with mahogany back and neck, and it features a rosewood fretboard. Now this is where this guitar blew my mind. It has a Les Paul access heel, so that takes anything that was traditional about this guitar and just threw it out the window. This is a 50s looking guitar with the specs of three great guitars, but with modern playability with the access heel. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, it's this area right here. Usually on a Les Paul, there is a sharp corner in this area. But on certain models that they deem the access heel, they sand that area away. This way your hand can slide up and comfortably play the upper frets. You can see the back has some wear and tear to it as well with very choice mahogany woods. The face of the headstock is also aged and features the lower Gibson logo, as you'll see sometimes on 50s models. One complaint I do have in this area is I think the Gibson logo should be tinted a yellow color to match the rest of the guitar's aging. The back of the headstock is marked KS as well as KAZ and the limited edition serial number stamp. Something else I want to touch upon here is how much of a joy it is to play a guitar that only has a single bridge pickup. I had the joy of owning a Silverburst Les Paul Custom that only had the bridge pickup, and playing that guitar was a complete eye-opening experience. There was so much picking room on the guitar, it almost felt like you were playing an acoustic guitar. This really livened up my playing and made the guitar feel completely different in a great way. The only question left, would you rock this Kazuyoshi Saito Les Paul or not? Leave your answer down in the comment section below, and regardless of how you feel about this instrument, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.